The infamous Enigma code machine was used during World War I and II, most notably by Nazi Germany. It was considered unbreakable. You have uh, so many combinations that a number of the combination was uh, larger than a number of the atoms in an entire universe. But in 1932, the code was broken by Polish mathematicians. And just five weeks prior to the outbreak of World War II, the Polish Cipher Bureau handed the research over to Allied Intelligence. So those guys were able to break this code and to lay theoretical basis how to do this. A man named Marian Radziewski was probably the most influential in the code breaking. His daughter was presented with the Quilton Award on his behalf on September 4th. We are very proud that finally uh, Poles are appreciated uh, and uh, can enjoy a proper place in the history. Two other men played a large role, a role which UT professor Jerzy Jankun is especially fond of. The second one was Henryk Zagalski, and the Henryk Zagalski was a second cousin of my grandmother. He says that without the work of men like these, the Germans would have been much more difficult to defeat. During a second war, people really believe shortened the war by quite a few years. So it was really very, very critical. A monument now stands in the city of Poznan, Poland, which is considered Toledo's sister city. It displays the names of men who helped bring down the Nazi war machine. It's very important to remember that those guys were first. Those were really geniuses which make possible to break those codes. Chris Delkamp, WNWO News.